Hey y'all, Justin here for your weekly refresher. Um, I think a week ago, I shared on my last sermon, but since this past Saturday or Sunday, I was actually in uh, Streams Ministries preaching at their church. Rich preached this past Sunday. I want to take a slight detour but stay in the vein of hearing the voice of God. There's an event coming up um, December 21st, and it's an alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. And what's interesting about this, it's not the fact that they're lining up, because roughly every 20 years they do, but it's how they're lining up where they look like a double planet is what they describe. This event has not happened for 800 years. The last time this happened was in 1226, and uh, in Genesis 1, verse 14, it says, And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So did you catch that? Let it be for signs and for seasons. So why is this a sign, right? It says that there'll be signs in the heavens and signs in the earth, blood, smoke, fire, and vapor before the great day of the Lord, before Jesus returns. The reason why this is significant, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and Saturn is the second largest planet. Jupiter, um, as far as like Greek history, they looked at it as the uh, basically the king and obviously the, the Greeks believed in multiple gods. They didn't just believe in one god. But remember, many things have been stolen from us and twisted because the enemy can't create. He can only uh, essentially counterfeit the truth. So Jupiter actually represents the king or the kingdom, okay? And Saturn, actually represents harvest. Did you catch that? Um, so you have two planets lining up, one representing the kingdom and one representing harvest. So what is God saying to us in the midst of this? We're literally entering in a new, this is a sign that we're entering into a new season of kingdom harvest. So what's happened in the past, I should say, the way you were harvesting in the past probably isn't going to work in this new season, right? So we have to understand that when God brings us into a new season, there are things that we have to dump off. I, I, um, I was actually talking to John Thomas a couple weeks ago because I told him I was, all of a sudden I had this itch to changed the artwork in my office. I changed this back here and and I, I grew a beard, which I never seem to keep a beard more than about a month to two months tops. And as you can tell, I actually took it off over the weekend. But I felt in the natural this stirring to begin to change things up, to, to change. And those are prophetic patterns uh, there's things that your spirit picks up even before you recognize it in your soul and you your spirit begins to prepare you for the next season. Um, I want to challenge you to, to find the patterns, those prophetic patterns that God's put into you when seasons are about to change. Remember the sons of Issachar understood the times and the seasons they lived in. And we have the Holy Spirit in us, so there's no reason why we can't have the understanding in the times and seasons and understand when things are changing. So this is really awesome. And I just want to encourage all of us to really press in and ask the Lord, what is the, what is the total significance of this sign? And how do we get into alignment with that new season of kingdom harvest so that we can see the harvest? Remember, Jesus said the harvest is what? It's plentiful, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord of the harvest. So I want to encourage you to get out of your comfort zones when it comes to evangelism, when it comes to the harvest, when it comes to discipleship, 
I want to encourage you in this hour to redeem the time, recognizing the time is accelerating, knowledge is increasing, and one day the Lord's going to return. And we want to have the rewards to be able to lay that crown at His feet. So, I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving tomorrow. And just again, I want to challenge you to be thankful. Give thanks in all things, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, that was uh, just a few thoughts for your weekly refresher. Bless you all. <music>